So in between uh, downloading a bunch of stuff for the uh, <laughs> the other stuff we're gonna do for the Halloween special tonight, uh, I figured while we're waiting, uh, we could also check out um, the Yumaniki game that we were gonna play too. Not Flow. We played Flow for one of the uh, days, but I, I'm also gonna be playing this Yumi Tuiki game, um, and this is going to be. Uh, a little special, I think, because I might want to play um, immediately online with you guys. Uh, which, I don't know if it's going to be a good experience or not, but uh, the Too Icky game, I think it's called, yes. Uh, you know, a, a lot of people have been wanting me to play this and check it out. And um, I can just hop on online, I guess. and Or, or I, I don't know if I can, though. Do I need to register a account, perhaps? I think it was some stuff like that, right? Um, you don't have to register. Okay. Well, I'm just going to hop on. You have an account called Joey Bones. Okay. Let me just see how this would work. Let me see how this works. This is the first time I'm playing this, by the way. Okay, here we go. Uh, and a one, and a two, and a... Boom, here's Yumi to Iki, which is like a crazy game... Uh, it makes the original, this is like 20 times as, as big or something. Um, I, I think, I, I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, you know, we played Flo too. I really enjoyed Flo, the little horror. Uh, it's pronounced Nikki, Joel. Okay. Uh, two is, okay, okay, I get it, okay. Well, anyway, as I said, we played Flo, which is another fan game you can find on the Yumi Nikki um, you know, online website, and, uh, you know, I, uh, play this now, and apparently it's humongous, it's enormous, did you buy a new cable for your mic yet, no, I pretty much fixed it anyway, I think, yeah, so, ladies and gentlemen, um, let's check it out, okay, uh, and a one. I'm I'm super nervous, guys. I'm so nervous. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Uh, it's a collaborative hobby project developed by a variety of different people, so the content varies drastically. If you'd like to implement your own content, please consider joining us. Okay, it's purely a fan game. Press any key. Okay. Game flow. Room, bed, dreaming, wake up, repeat. Okay. How to play. Move, arrow keys, confirm, cancel. Yeah, we know this. Uh, I guess here we go. Effects are found while dreaming. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, well. Hello, everybody. I... I kind of knew that playing uh, playing uh, w with online people for the first time might have been a b bad idea. Okay, I gotta figure out where I am. Uh, you can turn them off. H how, do, how does one turn them off? Okay, hang on. If I, if I just move... Okay, I, I see where I am. I see where I am. I see where I am. I'm gonna go outside, hang on. Hey guys, what's poppin'? Huh? You know. <laughs> okay, apparently this servers have been fixed last because we did we did another um Yumaniki related thing. And um you know the service was so laggy. But uh, oh god, oh god, oh god. We gotta, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Okay. Um, there's not gonna have three people in the top. Okay. So if I go offline... Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Alright, well, uh, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna see where this goes. Sorry about the mouse, by the way. Um, Joel, why are you playing Habbo Hotel? Okay, well, here's Ty. Bye, Ty. Okay. The voices are gone. Okay, um, and uh, just like any Yumaniki game, we just go in here, and uh, again, this is a, 
this is a community fan game thing, and it's enormous, okay? Um, I will barely scratch the surface here, you know? So, uh, I don't even know where to begin, really. Um, I mean, just the hub world is enormous enough. Are, are you ready for the carnage to begin again? Here we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna go to. Uh, okay, this is this is nuts. There's there's so many people. There is so many people. Um, I'm gonna go to uh, Pyramid Laser Zone. Hello, Pi. <laughs> they come out. They come out like an explosion of wasps. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Okay, we are. Oh my God! Look at this carnage. It's it's just crazy. It's like a flood. Okay, 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 okay. B before we begin, this is called low effort world in Japanese. Okay, okay, okay. I have an idea. I have an idea here. I have an idea here. I want us to... Um... <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Um... How about this? Let's do a single line of people. Okay? So, here's what we're gonna do. Nobody sit there above the line. I'm gonna go horizontally right. Okay, and everybody follow. And we're gonna go ram bam gang gang bam bam rip bim 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 bim. Alright. So let's go this way. Let's go this way. Okay, okay, okay. Again, you, you cannot miss a miss a line. You gotta be on a single line after me. Okay. Okay? Okay, here we go, here we go. People can't follow this for shit. <laughs> All right, stay still. <laughs> they, don't, they don't know who I am. <laughs> they don't know who I am. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> okay, uh, it's dark in here, and hmm. Oh god. Oh no 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 no. Okay, so you you asked too much for a pack of orangutans. Um, hmm. <laughs> hey guys, Monkey Mondays is back. Okay, um, so this is low effort world in uh, in here. What's it called? What is that, the actual name in Japanese here? Said, what a shitty dream. Okay, I, I kind of see it. I kind of see the, the, the sort of low effort. It's called Geometry World in English. Okay. Hmm. My name isn't showing up. Oh, there's, there's poo over there. Okay. I will say this. Uh, it, 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 maybe it's too early to say, but it, it has a certain different flavor than flow. I'm just gonna do this for a while. I'm sorry, guys, but I, I will be back. I will be back. I will be mosh pitted to death eventually, but for now, just this. Just so I can explore a little bit first, and then we can see what's dwelling in here, you know? Um, though you've only seen two rooms. So. Yeah, I know, I know, right, but... <laughs> okay, I like this guy. Mr. Balloon Hands. Release the swarm. Okay, uh, he finally took the pills. Uh, they're gonna cups. Uh. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure if I've gone way too off now. Hmm. They're all dead. I actually find, you know, I find this honestly very creepy. I'm not even kidding. Um, just the idea of being, like, there's so many people around, and then you're empty into the void. I honestly find this really creepy. Like, it, it's, it's, it's isolating as hell, you know? 
And I, I find the low effort word kind of creepy anyway. It's like just a, a digital trash, trash dumpster thing, you know? Oh, you can actually press... Oh, that's, that's how you go back. Okay, we're gonna go to... Uh, green guy place. This is called back. You can actually see this is called Bacteria World. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's busy. Hmm. Music is very like doomsday. Someone said you're in TwitchCon. Hey now. Yo. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting like sick looking at this. Okay, here's here's this guy. Is it the way back? Okay, that's the next. There's so many worlds to go into, but um, yeah, bacteria world sucked. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna go into Candle World. This is called Pudding World, but this is Pudding World. It is. Th this is Flan. Okay. Oh. This sounds like AI randomly generated synthesizer music. Yeah. <laughs> this is terrible. It sucks. You know what this sounds like? Ashens. Ashens has this doom beep beep boom beep bum boom. Like it's just this random like you know chromatic beat. You know. Hello. Okay. Um. Why don't you interact with the guy? You can. Oh oh oh. Okay. Come on, march forward, guys. Hello, boys. I, I, I kind of like the guy in the background. Gotta be honest. Okay. When they walking. When he be walking. Temporary secretary. You know what's weird? Like, t connecting with your parents over the Beatles. Like, I like the Beatles, right? But, like, talking to your mom about the Beatles. And... I, I, I can't explain it, but it's like there's no no like generational difference when you talk to um, your parents about the Beatles, you know, because I do listen to it, but um, you know, I, I just it's just it's just kind of nice to talk about something. Um, boomer and boomerer, but it, it's kind of like. Um, what I've noticed with, with, with like older people listening to the Beatles, they they only like like two songs, and they say it's the best songs ever. But then you ask them like, what else do you like? Like, oh, they have so much shit. Oh, they have so much shit. Someone said true. Fake fans. Okay, so we're just kind of going along this path, and I'm not sure if these guys are going anywhere, but I'm just gonna start pressing on things, I guess. Yeah. Okay, a little flan man. Okay, I'm gonna go online and see what happens. I'm about to be shocked. Three, two, one. <laughs> they knew exactly where I was. They knew exactly where I was. What the hell? How could you specifically know that? I mean... <laughs> Holy shit. Chat jump scare. Okay. You should do hide and seek. I don't think I can. It, it's, it's too... It's too out there. You know. Okay, we can still see... You can see me? What? Okay, I'm stuck in Flan World. Wait, can I can I stop them? Hang on, but if I stand here, oh, they go through me. Okay, I see. 
Hmm. I like how there's a, there's a random, like, roadblock <laughs> coming after us. Okay. Hmm. There's something more here you can probably do. I really need that bike, too. You know? Joel, they're basically stream sniping. <laughs> Alright, um... E. Oh, what's this? It's an area I haven't been before. Hello, boys. So, when people say this is a community um, fan game, sort of, how does that work? Is it still in development? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, so, do you just, like, make a world, an RPG maker, and be like, hey, check out my pizza zone? There's events in this game. Really? Okay, I'm gonna go offline here, just a second. Basically, okay, okay. It's a lot easier if you're Japanese. Oh, okay. I think we made it back, actually. Okay, so that, that was Flan World. Again, these branch off into different areas as well. So, you know. Hmm. I'm gonna go and check out... This. No, I'm gonna check out this. Whatever this is. Okay, this is neat. Is it just me, or does, does this game have a more of a happy flair to it than the original? Like, it seems to be more, a little bit more... ...comic relief-y? I, I, maybe I'm just picking random zones that, that are a little happier. But it's a little more whimsical. So far, at least. I haven't gotten a single effect yet, by the way. Okay, yeah. This isn't scary, it's cute. Well, we just have to wait, I suppose. Okay, what if I go here? Play hide and seek with people. Oh, we will, we will, we will. Okay, yeah. Do you know where to get the bike? This is the first time I'm playing this, so I have no idea. Okay, bike is in the flower world. Okay, okay. Level of quality differs a lot between maps. Okay. We're gonna go down here and see what, what we'll get. What is it? I, I guess it's all original music, but... It's kind of interesting to hear the, the, the looped beats on tracks like this, and just... You know, you, I don't know, it's just... I, I think micro music TM. Just hearing a beat. It's kind of like... In, I don't know if this is a very thing, weird thing to talk about. In Sven Co-op, do you remember playing Secret City and the What the Fuck maps? And it was just like two seconds of a song. And you could listen to that loop over and over and over and over and over again. I'm kind of specifically talking about, you know, Captain John Luke Picard of the Starship Enterprise. I'm like, that's the, that's the best song ever made. <laughs> okay. Remember that song? I was watching... I was watching um, a LOL compil compilation on YouTube, LOL Internet compilation, and it was a blast from the past. Uh, it was the Ronald McDonald, you know, it was like straight from You're the Man Now, dog, and I'm like, man, that was an innocent age on the internet. Okay, am I stuck here in the uh, Christmas song? It's not Christmas, but it just looks weird. LOL Internet. Okay. Maybe there, there's something I can find here. Again, you many case, a lot of exploration is finding things. Hey, look at this. Who, who's this guy? Okay. Well, this took a different turn immediately. Okay. And now we're going to go down here and see what we have. Do you remember the first time you got internet? Um, sort of, but... When I first had internet, it was fake internet. It was plastic internet. And I call it plastic internet because... My room... 
did not have a um, a switch. I mean, I'm talking about an internet switch. I didn't have an internet cable there. And what I had to do was go on the fake internet. I would get shareware disks and I would go inside the disk and there would be an HTML page inside. And when I would click on it, I would pretend to be on the internet because it was a, you know, a readme file for Jazz Jackrabbit 2. <laughs> and then I, I, okay, embarrassing story, but I'm going to tell it anyway. I actually thought that was the internet working because I wanted the internet so bad. So I actually ran uh, to my mom in the kitchen and said, Mom, Mom, look, internet. <laughs> 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 okay, I got a vending machine here. Okay, I need money for this, huh? Mom, mom, look. <laughs> um, as a kid in the 90s Canada, our YMC had computer labs with Duke Nukem and stuff. Holy shit. Okay, okay. I am old enough to actually have had school computers run on Windows uh, 3.1. And I remember that one of the first video games I played on the PC was actually like a fucking Colgate Dental game. And I remember it was like the, one of the few games on there, but it was like, dude, this game is the fucking best. And it was just like a cheap corporate tie-in toothpaste game. And I'm like, dude, this is awesome. Can I go inside these these little windows or? I never I never played Oregon Trail as a kid. That was like a thing later because it was more like an American video game thing, you know. Did you find on Shaver Madness? I think we did. Yes, I think we did. All right, what's who's this guy? Oh. Okay, we are now in a uh, corruption world. Actually, this is negative space, it says. Uh, negative space. Uh, okay. Ski for you. Hmm. Interesting. The music is very, like, haunting. Who are these guys? Uh, little bird men? What about you, buddy? <laughs> okay. Okay, this goes somewhere. Hmm. Okay, we got another thing. Okay, we are in the laboratory now. This doesn't look like a laboratory, but... Uh, oh, okay. Okay, we got a bunch of computers or whatever this is. Uh, Very earthboundy, I would say. Can I sit down here? Are these chairs? What have we been developing here? Oh. Uh. We got more hot beat. Oh, whoa. What in the hell is this? Uh Hey, anyone with me? <laughs> All right, this is some strange world we're in. We're in like communist lobster land. <laughs> what the hell? Huh. Well, off we go. Over here. What? Okay, we are we are now in the intestine maze. You could probably play this for like 24 hours and still not find like 50% of what's in here. You know. Okay, we're gonna go here. You'll fight Gaius soon. What if I go... Can I press this? Okay, okay. 
You need to find the Sparrow Prince. <laughs> Lenny winks. Okay, I I'm just gonna go offline real quick. Okay. Just so I can, like, think again, you know? Someone said, I can't wait to grow up. Bro, we in you, Miniki. Shut up. There's some teeth guy there. Okay, we are in the desert fields. The diabetes zone. Hmm. You can just eat. Wait, this might be bad. This sounds exactly like the, the cat that goes... Okay. <laughs> hmm. And I gotta be honest, I, I kinda like this because it's got more of a whimsical tone. Perhaps it's all over the place right now, but it's also like... I find that things that don't... Things that look normal are oftentimes more... More scared to look at rather than gore zone TM. Do you get what I mean? And sometimes it's just an eerie feeling is more akin to horror for me rather than uh oh bones, you know. Depends on what it is though, of course. But uh, yeah, does this go anywhere? This goes to intestine maze. Okay. I want to see what that, that that red guy is up to. Wow. Joel alone on GM Construct at 3 a.m. I'll say this about GM Construct. I know a lot of people say it's got a, a liminal space feeling, GM Construct. I have never, ever felt that with GM Construct. If anything, I find it there's a serenity to it. We're like, oh, thank God. It's like, for me, just being in Mario 64. Maybe as a kid, actually, I thought it was a little scary, because I'm like, dude, when I'm down in the basement, I feel like, uh-oh, there's gonna be something there. But I don't know, GM Construct for me is... Uh, you know what it is? I associate it too much with good memories and having fun with, like, people on Steam. Like, making stuff or, you know, doing whatever. So, I, I, I think maybe people playing, you know, Gmod now, and fucking around in single player, Maybe they find it creepy, but for me, I, I just have too many good memories, you know. The Source engine in general, I, I, I find very, like, quote-unquote, comfort, comforting. So, I, I don't know. Okay, this is back here. What's my favorite Team Fortress 2 map? I will tell you soon, because soon. Charity stream and Hannah Montana, Linux Destruction, Part 2. You will know. The answer is Mario Kart. Don't was in my room last night. Ba 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 ba. Okay, I always thought that map was the best. I loved it, loved it, man, loved it. Okay, 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 okay. Will chat be able to join? Possibly, yeah. Possibly, possibly, possibly. Hmm. I don't know why, <laughs> but playing this makes me want to eat spaghetti. I don't know why the hell that is. I just got a sudden fucked up weird craving for spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti world. Meatballs. Yeah. All right, I gotta ask you guys. Here, here's the important question of tonight. Spaghetti with meatballs or a spaghetti bolognese? You can only pick one. Meatballs, bolognese. Bolognese, bolognese, meatballs, meatballs. Man, God, this is more equal than I thought. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Ramen. When I was growing up, my dad used to put Tabasco on ramen. Also, my dad will call uh, ramen uh, Nissen. Because uh, that's the brand, Damai Nissen Ramen. And it's, it's the first thing you read, so he will like read the, the, the brand and like, that's what they call it. <laughs> oh, God. 
I wait. Fuck, that's the wrong way again. Damn it. Okay, maybe I can just like, backtrack kind of more to the side here. I want to see. I want to see where intestine world leads. I think I've actually found it. Maybe, 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 maybe. It is a maze after all. Okay. Hmm. If that goes there again, you gotta like think of this, not traditionally like how the maze would turn out, because Humanicus design is like non-Euclidean question mark it's like you go left you don't really turn left okay well here's this guy we're in the hand fields hey man doesn't want to respond I'm gonna guess we're gonna get our first thing here hey what's up with you man he's doing pig noises so. Okay, okay. It's not me, it's me, Handio. Gang signs, gang zone. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm stuck here. No, we can still go here. Here's this guy. Do you talk? Whoa, 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 what is happening here? Hey, man. Okay, you have a bleeding refrigerator. Uh, what's up? Who are you? Miku? <laughs> Uboa time. Is there an Uboa in this game? I'm gonna turn on multiplayer for a second. There's like 10. Oh shit. But this doesn't this is not one of them. Okay. Jesus, that is ridiculous. Okay, can I sleep in your bed? No, that that would be rude. This ain't oblivion. There was an Eboa online, really. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, bye-bye. Sorry to interrupt. I wonder... I wonder if there's anything I can do there. Maybe I need an item or something, you know? How do you not notice it? Because there was like 16,000 different people in there. Okay, okay. Hmm. I like this music. It's 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 kind of serene and weird. I like it. The first hand on top of the left of the intestine maze can it take you somewhere else? Okay, so I should be heading back. Okay. You need an effect to make the girl freak out. Be like, hey, I play video games. Ah! These hands do, do these hand things mean anything? Looks like a squid, actually. Hey, everybody. I'm a gamer. Gang signs. <laughs> okay, I think I'm a little stuck here, actually. The test I made says a ton of exits. Okay. Okay. Since the game is a community contributed project, you'll see that the quality of the maps go all over the place. You can go from a gorgeous map to. Okay. Can I? Submit one? <laughs> no, that's a terrible idea. Yes, no, 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 no. I, I would not want to do it. I would not want to do it. First of all, uh, this is, I'm not sure who runs this. I don't think it's run by uh, Western developers. And I, 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 I would make some hot garbage and I would have to translate in Japanese and basically freely translate. I'd be like, hello, my name is Joey. This is my goblin friend called friend. Uh, look at him. He has facial hair. Lol. Um, check out his spooky map where he eats Doritos and he'd be like, 
Nani the fuck? Okay, this is the Flesh Paths world, by the way. Actually, you know what? You know what? I think that that was such an unhinged statement of like, what, what are you talking about? That maybe, just maybe, the developer being like, you know what? You got the stuff here. You sound like you belong in a sanitarium. The developers are here, though. Really? <laughs> really? Do a barbecue quest world map. You know, that's kind of funny, actually. But here's the thing. Is that I, I would not want to crap with comedy in something like this. I would actually have an idea or, of, of something bizarre happening. Okay, what the fuck? Um, right. Hmm. Friend. I, I don't know. <laughs> What's up with this guy, huh? Happy. Oh, okay. It's the p flesh path world, apparently. Egg. F okay, th this guy. I'm gonna go into the purple guy. Okay, so this is a huge base as well. Uh, great. Uh, <laughs> purple guy? Speaking of purple guy... Um, I've said this before, but... The... The Mario movie has, has been thrown off the... Well, thrown. It's been u usurped by the Finance of Freddy's movie. And I'm glad I'm talking about this during this... Abominable flesh pit. Um, because... Uh, you're blocking the way, okay? The FNAF movie is the king. It has, it has taken over the Mario movie in terms of su success. Opening day, at least. I, I don't know how successful it is now. But uh, it has made a lot of money. And I'm wondering... If money equals 16 more sequels. I'm gonna try this, th this area again. Okay. Now here's he, 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 here's where it gets interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Matt Pat first movie, second movie. This guy, Big Billy. <laughs> I love this like droning ambience in, the, in this weird world. You know what I like about Yumaniki's style on each level? It is completely uncompromising. Um, holy shit. This is my zone. Like, it just feels like there's no, like, does this look good enough? No, fuck it. Just, that's it. It's a matter of fact. It's just like this digital weird bl trash that's just dumped in there, you know? It's, it's it's very interesting. And because this this particular game is so big, it feels like what I'm experiencing is only for me. I know this this sounds bizarre, but I know other people are playing, but I feel like I'm encountering stuff people have never seen. Like, I'm in a zone that is just inaccessible to everybody else. You know. Each copy is personalized. That is a vomiting hippo. I can't even describe that. So that okay, protagonist. <laughs> the red lantern were less a surprise for you. Oh. That can actually happen. Go online and search for red lantern. Okay. That's Mr. Clean. That is Mr. Clean. No, Joe Rogan World. Jamie, pull that up. I am a weapons guy. <laughs> Interesting. That's the Batsu game guy. Well, Hama, no Hama, the fucking um, Matsumoto. 
Okay, go to the Red Lantern. Okay, but I... I was exploring this. Okay, he doesn't want to open his mouth. Hmm. Yamada. Whenever you're on the Nexus, no rush. Okay, look at look at this thing down here. Is there a credit to each location here, or is it all anonymous? Minecraft Steve. They are credits. Okay, okay. Hmm, there's credits on the wiki. Okay, okay. By the way, um, quick notification about this. Um, I'm gonna have to end the stream short-ish soon. Um, but it's probably a really good thing anyway. Because I'm actually way over time uh, for the night stream. But, hear me out. Now, I know you guys are gonna be like, Joey? Joey's not gonna come back and stream more of this. And I counter by saying this. Uh, who streamed 12 hours on the vineyard? Who has been streaming like a madman, okay? Now, you can cap all you want, but give me some credit as of late, because Joey shit in the toilet. <laughs> he is a big boy. Okay. No, but uh, here's what I say. Um, what we can do, because we, we did the Halloween hack, and I want to stream more of this, you know? But the thing with this is, I like to stream a lot of Yumaniki, like hour-wise, just exploring, and um, I can probably go for you know a half hour more of this. But uh, my, my point is, um, I want to do more of this in in the morning, plus the Voice of the Void Halloween thing. And on top of that, I also want to do the Alone in the Dark thing. Uh, one of the reasons we're playing this before. Um, the Alone in the Dark thing is the Alone in the Dark thing we're downloading is actually uh, taking too long to download. So, <laughs> you know, John Dark Wee is waiting. Uh, hmm. So I say this: we used to do a part two of the Halloween Super Stream. I mean, I know it's not necessarily Halloween anymore, but who cares? <laughs> Um, unrelated, did that Robocop game come out then? Or is it gonna come out in, like, later? Yes. Yes. Well, that's another thing I wanna do. Maybe just as a one-off. Maybe just as a one-off, you know. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> Go in. <laughs> no. Okay, fine. Oh boy. We're in the sea of clouds. Oh. Okay. What? What? What style does this remind me of? What game is it I'm thinking of? Magic Ant? Mother? I'm not sure what it is. Uh, off? Oh, I didn't really play off, but I, I I think I know the style. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Well, here we are in the isometric. Yeah, it's it's very very mother esque, I would say. Mario Land and the golden coins. You know, I kind of see it. So I said you never beat off. Shut up. Hey, what's poppin', dude? Um, can I do something here? Is this guy in like? He's, 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 have, he's got a counter. Five ten. Okay, so what the? Why is it counting? Is this prison? Is this Uboa in prison? I mean, this is like Mario Land one, because this, this is like a Maui guy, you know. He's been jailed. <laughs> All right. 
Hmm. Interesting. What crimes did he commit? Uh, too many vine booms? Uh, for manslaughter. Man's laughter. Okay. Uh, ugliness. <laughs> I had a really fucked up idea. And... I thought about this, where, and I think Star Trek did something similar, where they had a, like, society of only, like, really beautiful people. Like, they, they, they only, the, the, the only people allow, allowed to, like, exist is, like, Colgate Mentos people, right? So if you're born, and you're, like, you have a slight weird tooth, they throw you out in the ugly zone, right? And <laughs> the people that are in the beautiful Colgate city, um, <laughs> they, uh, they're basically the, the higher ups, right? And the ugly people eventually get sick of them and they rise up and the ugly war begins and this war will not be fought with guns or weapons it will be fought with <laughs> stinky fish <laughs> and smells because soon if you get farted on you ugly too bitch So it's a Dr. Seuss ass story. No, Dr. Seuss did not belong in a sanitarium. Fetish war. I caught the ugly. Okay. Is this still about Star Trek? No, I think we, we trailed off. <laughs> That's like four episodes of the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that, that, that's actually a, an episode of Twilight Zone? Are you kidding me? No, really? Yes. Old ass Twilight Zone. Okay, that's that makes sense. It's called Eye of the Beholder. I gotta check that out. That's that seems crazy. Okay. Who, okay, speaking of like crazy writers and stuff like that, who was the guy who wrote uh, City on the Edge Forever in Star Trek? He also wrote uh, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. J.R. Tolkien. Harlan Ellison. Harlan Ellison was like a great writer, but he was like a total dickhead. Uh, if you look him up on Wikipedia, I was laughing my ass off at this shit. Basically, he was such a vindictive troll that um, when he was in school and his teacher like failed him saying like you are you are terrible at writing for every year <laughs> Harlan Ellison keeps kept sending this teacher his awards <laughs> or like copies of them or some shit like that <laughs> just to spite him be like fuck you <laughs> oh god <sighs> But he, he was like super spiteful about everything. Like he he uh, he he was just super vindictive and just angry, super angry. Okay. Hmm. He does voice act him well not himself, but he voice acts in the uh, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream video game. He uh, voice acts Am or Am. Sorry. Hate. Hate. Okay. I'll, I'll say this at least. Uh, I have no mouth and I must scream is one of the very few horror games that I do not want to stream. Um, for pretty pretty obvious reasons, there's some crazy shit in that game that I'm like, dude, this is... This, no, 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 no. Okay, we've been here now. It's, it's a very messed up game. Very messed up. Okay. See, you know, I like my horror kind of like funny and goofy or very atmospheric. You know, it's, it's like a lot of shocking shit in it. You know what I mean? 
It's like, you, 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 I don't think you can uh, even stream that stuff on Twitch. That's, that's how crazy it is. Okay, can I go left here? Hmm. I suggest, if you want to play it, check it out yourself. But uh, it, it deviates from the, the novel quite a lot. You know? Hmm. Speaking of teachers, what is something a teacher did that, that, that you will never forget? Uh, I... Have I ever told you guys this story about the ice skate? Can I push this? No. Okay, you wanna you wanna hear like a really like bloody story. I don't know if it's like it's, a, it's like a scary Halloween story or whatever. It's just it, it'll make you go ooh ooh ooh. That's brutal. Um. So this must have been in fourth, fifth grade. I don't remember, but basically, uh, embarrassingly enough, I could not tie my shoelaces. So, um. Yeah, it's fucking stupid, but I couldn't because I was just dumb. But uh, anyway, so we're playing hockey, and I was I was okay at hockey. It was all right at hockey, and uh, the gym teacher helped us get our skates on, right? And uh, well, to make a long story short, <laughs> he is holding on to my ice skate with his hands, tying my shoelaces. And once he's done tying the knot, I run the foot down. Because I'm like, oh, time to skate. So I sliced up my teacher's hand, his palm of his hand. And the funniest thing is because, you know, I was a little kid and they can't get mad at you. Because it was an accident. And I go, uh oh, are you okay? And he's like, yes, I'm fine. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I don't, th I don't think, I mean, obviously he didn't say it, but I think he really wanted to like <laughs> kick my head in. Cause like, I know you're a little baby, but you come back to this school when you're 30, you're in the wrong zone. <laughs> okay. See here, uh, he'll he'll be an old bald then. Okay. I, I I just don't get why the fuck was he like holding on to the blade? Because I remember he was like holding on to the fucking thing. I guess he assumed that uh, my dumbass wouldn't rip down the the shoe. You know, I don't know. Okay, what's this? Oh, oh hey, off we go. To the blooming blue, blue the, the blooming blue lagoon. Is this one of those like sea angel things? I learned that from Animal Crossing, embarrassingly enough. <laughs> okay. Are there people here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's like I don't know why, but I'm getting like a Disney vibe from this. Keep mind, we've just been exploring from one area here, from one hub, for, you know, whatever. What if I can? Can I interact with the lamp under the sea? Do you guys remember that, uh, the original Little Mermaid VHS, VH, uh, VHS cover that had the bandits on it, <laughs> and they banned it? Okay. Hey, we did it. Um, Astronomical Gallery. Okay. Can I get one of these books? Hmm. Well, this is nice. Wherever we are. Interesting. It's gonna be the same area 
It's gonna be like a left-right situation here, or... No, 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 no. Oh, hello. Uranus. Okay. We are off into space. Learning about stars. Or star, you know. Uh, I know that's fucking sad. I'm not making a joke. Okay. These aren't real uh, star signs, by the way. Uh, you know, the, 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 these are just bizarre ones. In fact, well, here's an asteroid. Okay, are any real? Hmm. Those are real. Those aren't real. What are you talking about? The fuck up. Uh, that's a that, that's a that's a big big dip TM. <laughs> Those are real. Okay, what are they called then? Who's that guy? They're real. What are they called? Dipshit. <laughs> John. Upside down Y. <laughs> These are constellations. Now. Okay. Kremrold. Silly horse. The big doodle dipper. Gas tank John <laughs> The Beach Tipper <laughs> You know, I actually have an app on my phone that allows you to like take your phone and scan it across the sky at night and it shows you what star is where. Uh it's pretty interesting actually. Uh hey Joel, developer of the Blue Lagoon, thanks for visiting my zone. Oh that's that's so neat. If somebody shows up, hey, I, I made this, you know. Come to the big red lantern, we have a surprise for you. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Can I go in here? Yeah. Yeah, it's a huge area, man. I like that zone, I like it, I like it. You know. If I head in here, what's up? You can go in. We have a we have a star planet library. Oh hello. Okay. We are now in the exhibition zone. You've been trapped in the cube. Okay, yeah. Did you watch the incredible circus at Joel? Uh, what? Okay, this seems different. Oh, th that goes into the blue for this. Straight out of Earthbound. Straight out of Earthbound. I mean, come on. Okay. Oh, you are messed up. Now we're at school. Okay. Hey. Now we're in the teddy bear land. This is insane. I, I think every single zone is from a different person. Like every single one. Feddy world. How was this organized? You know, how was this, how was this communicated between players? Joe, this is a surprise at the red street light world from, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, this is kind of spooky and, M oh, what the hell is this? See, th th this noise scares me because it sounds like the helicopters outside my house. Not police helicopters, mind you, just, you know, the ones that just kind of go, you know. Okay, interesting, interesting, yeah. The police helicopters. Now we're in the docks. Hmm. Interesting, yeah. Uh... 
the Dank Dank Docks. Uh, this game has more worlds and more countries in the world. Well, that that's not a lot of, you know. Of course, there's only five countries in the world anyhow. You know, so so what? Name them. Okay. Uh, America. Uh, the icy land. Uh, Europe, Japan, uh, the moon, get educated, learn stuff, branch out, be somebody, <laughs> lift some time, gain some height, take a shower, have sex. Get a clue. <laughs> okay. Poop your pants. It's very LSD esque, you know. I, I feel I feel this era in particular has a very LSD quality. I'm not talking about the drug, by the way. I'm talking about the PlayStation game. Okay. Hmm. Morbed up. No, you mean the drug. But this goes somewhere. Dead end. Dead end. See, I feel like I wanna I wanna go check out the hub world and see the red light thing. But I wanna I, we, we're so deep in here. Like I, I, I could never make it back. I could never make it back at this point. Like we, we are like we have like a fractal gone deeper and deeper and deeper. You know? The docks are really easy to get to. They are? Okay. We're all still following you, but oh my. What is that? What is that Japanese hard creepypasta thing? It's like a spirit that just floats around on a rice field. And you should never look at it or else you go crazy. What is that called? Uh, Bill Clinton. No, I'm, I'm serious. What, what is it called? Sadako. No, I'm not talking about a franchise here, like a movie. No, it's it's like it's like it's like a weird glowing gust of wind kind of creature. Uh, that's just like a will o' wisp. And I don't think it's a yokai thing either. I think it's some something on the internet they made up. But uh, you know. Kune Kune. That, that's what it is. Yes. Actually, Frank that told me about that. Did I ever tell you guys about my experience when I was in Japan? And we were in the... Uh, this might, might just be a fucking ghost story. It might be interesting to listen to. But um, when me and Frank was in Japan many years ago, uh, we were inside... We were sleeping in the um, the room where the the man of the house had passed away, like many years ago. It was like a tribute, a shrine inside the house, you know. Um, and we were sleeping there on our like sleeping mattresses and uh, all that stuff. And like Frank wakes up in the middle of the night. I didn't see this, but he saw a figure behind the the paper door to the balcony that was like staring in and there was nobody there now I can't verify the story because this, this is this is Frank's ghost busting story but I don't know maybe if Frank was just fucking with me but um, yeah apparently he saw a shadow on the uh, the paper oh hello um, and uh you know, here's, here's the thing, here's the thing, I am not scared that much by ghosts. 
uh it's the alien stuff that gets to me but here's the thing if 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 there was a ghost uh i would not start freaking out because i would feel now is my opportunity to uh because I, I i aliens cannot be communicated with okay it's like i'm talking talking rationally here um here's what i would have done with the ghost okay Pay him five dollars to be my friend so I can fuck with people. I will tell the ghost, guess what, buddy? Go to my friend's place and throw the PlayStation 5 at his own head. Because that thing was expensive and he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> okay, apparently I should go up and down here. Oh, 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 okay. I can go inside? No. Oh, we, we're in the submarine now. Hello? Boop. Oh, we're invisible now. Hey, guys. Join the submarine. We're having a party down here, you know. We all live in a zero percent opacity submarine. Hey guys, we're in the uh, <coughs> Subnautica stream. How the hell did you guys make it up here? Okay, someone is, is having the time of their lives as, as a penguin. Okay. So I said, uh, did you hear about the new Beatles song? Yes, uh, I, I heard it at the beginning of the stream, and it, you know, it's like, okay. Uh, it's just a little weird hearing like an old demo synthesized through AI and then play with like modern instruments. Okay, thanks. We still have a player that is in my single player game. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I'm like, you know, controlling. Talk to the lady again. Oh. Star trekking across the universe. Okay. Was that it? Sit and wait. Okay. Interesting how. Huh? Still can't find reverse. Wait until the sonar sound changes. Okay. Wait until the background slows. This reminds me in the original Yuminiki, you go to space and meet Mikey Jackson. Oh shit! Han Moon Walk I Skogen. Um, you know. And then, you know. Yeah, Vlar! Oh, shit! Um... <laughs> and then, uh, then your, your spaceship crashes on the moon. Okay, um... That guy has such an incredibly Swedish accent that the guy is speaking in that video. Oh, yeah, Vlar! Mikey Jackson! Oh. Okay. Was there a point to that? No, go up the ladder. Okay. This might be my favorite zone so far. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> oh, fuck. We're on the ocean floor. Okay. 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 I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. I still look like I have a little diapy on, just like in flow. <laughs> Has this entire thing am I gonna get a am I gonna get an effect just from this one adventure we had? Cause that is fucking insane. Cause it's like a huge branching thing to get to here and then get an effect. Like th this game is 
not to be fucked with. Like it, it is ginormous. I could, I could. It would probably be like a ten-part series on YouTube to finish all of it. You know. But uh, you know, you probably can figure out all this stuff if you know what you're doing. The thing is, I don't. Okay, y'all are past the hardest part. Okay. Hang on. High five, man. <laughs> okay, do you want to hear the funniest thing? When I was very young, my dad said, this is how Americans talk. Yeah. And I, I'm sure he got this from a movie. And he said, freely translated, it's like, in America, they say, give me some skin. That means a high five. That's what all Americans say to each other. They say, give me some skin. <laughs> and for years, I'm like, what? Give me some skin. <laughs> hey, man, give me some skin. And it's... Apparently, they say it in Good Morning Vietnam. Okay. <laughs> May I have some skin, please? Skin. 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 Okay. That used to be a thing. Yeah, in what, like the 1930s? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. I know this is probably not everybody's cup of tea in terms of a stream, because it's like, you know, I, I come here and I want to see some crazy shit. But sometimes I used to enjoy exploring weird games, you know, and just telling a little of my stupid stories, you know. I, I kind of like it, too. It's late at night. It's the last thing I'm going to do before going to bed. So I'm going to have, like, interesting dreams tonight, um, you know. Okay, um. The other do voice of the void. So here's my plan. Uh, I'm gonna go for more like 15 more minutes, and in the morning, uh, I'm gonna do a very long stream um, to voice of the void, alone in the dark, and uh, I actually have a bonus uh, seven spooky games. It's an alien related game, and it was meant to be t streamed tonight as well. But uh, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, it, it's kind of like a camcordery alien game. The new voice of the void update is a little buggy. Really? Okay. Well, here we are. Whoa. Oof. Are we gonna start jamming into uh, Dire Dire Docks? Okay. If it's not cordrosis, we riot. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Spam F and get timed out? <laughs> and then say to the mods, Sorry, my virus did it. <laughs> my spooky virus, my Halloween virus came out. Will the stream uh, Yumaniki? Yeah, I want to do more of this in the morning. You know. Hmm. I think it, this is the way, maybe. Okay. Loving the music is very serene. Okay, here's this. Okay, whatever that is. Okay, um... Aquatic and ambience from Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, not, not quite like that, but... It's just because it's getting darker, too. Okay, we have something here. Some machine equipment. Huh. Well, that's a bicycle. You saw a bicycle? I thought it was some. I guess the wheels. Okay, I thought it was like teleporter pads. I don't know what the hell. 
See, I'm afraid that, like, I'm gonna press the wrong thing here and go to a totally different area. And I've, I've lost on what I was meant to get. Okay. You should get a bike here. You're going the right way anyway. Okay. Holy fuck. I, I spooked myself. I was... Like... Touching my throat and my beard. I was just like, you know, scratching. And I touched the other side of my headphones. And I thought it was an underwater noise. And I'm like, what the f... <laughs> it was just like the, a brief little... You know... F foliage. <clears throat> okay. I would love if you did more chill streams like this. Yeah, you know, hey. Okay. Beard reveal. Sand feet beard. Okay, this, this is... I think the ocean floor right now is my favorite part of this. It's, it's pretty cool. You know, it's underwater adventure quest. Speaking of that, I've always wanted to see Sea Lab. 2020 or whatever it's called. Would you recommend that show or is it like that? Nah, it's like old show. 2021, yes. Because I, you know, I like the Brack show. I like Aquatine Hunger Force and all that stuff. But I never saw Sea Lab, and it was one of those very early ones too. I, I, I heard it was like compared to Archer. Uh, but I never seen Archer, so I don't know. Should should I sleep in this bed? He's go left instead. Okay, okay. Okay, we have a we have a we have an egg here. Oh. Hello. I'm child. I'm baby. Okay. Okay, I'm a little baby. Okay. Well. That's a crazy zone. What can I do with this? Okay, I can just jump. Why not? Am I throwing a tantrum? I'm not sure. So this is like the... Um, like the, the minimize thing from the original or whatever it was called. Yeah. That's one of the f effects most people are sort of a guide to get. So you're telling me I got a really good, like, rare one on my first try? Uh huh. Well, damn. That's an insane first one to get, really. That's, huh. That's cool. It's like an MC Escher nightmare that we're in right now. I'm gaming. Well, I'm gonna see who's still here. You guys are fucking insane, you know that? You have been following my quest. And you have gone through the submarine thing and everything. I mean, goddamn, you guys are dedicated. Like, you just know, you just know, you know. The hold is still alive. Guys, everybody needs to be baby. We're the, we're, we're the boss babies. <laughs> <laughs> there's two Joes, there's Jojo. <laughs> Jojo, come some. <laughs> All right. Um, it's pro I've already got the item here, and I can probably resume. But here's what I'm gonna do: I'm gonna wake up. Because I want to go to the Red Lantern thing. Because people are saying you gotta check out this Red Lantern thing. You gotta do it. It's the coolest thing in the game. So, fuck! I should probably save first, right? Ah, too late for that now, huh? Dude, hello guys, welcome back to Windows Destruction um, in Yumaniki. <laughs> okay. 
I will save, uh, I will save soon. Okay, this looks different now. Um, I'm just gonna go offline temporarily so I'll know where I am. Okay, so red the lantern. Is this the red lantern place? This right here? Yes, okay. All right, I guess I'll go online. What, what? Holy fuck, you've made a Varg friend. Holy shit, you've made a Varg friend! <laughs> Holy shit, what? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Dude, this is, this is crazy. I mean, it's, it's falling apart a little bit, but, but wow, that's a lot of work. Damn. I can't even get you guys to do a conga line and you managed to pull this off. Now it's just, now it's just oatmeal, but you know, the spirit of friend resides in us. Okay. I want to, I want us to do a very specific thing. This is going to be hard as hell to pull off because you know, I'm going to resume this in the morning. With more of Yumi Nikki 2 or Yumi Nikki, which is, you know. Um, here's what we're gonna do we are gonna make a conga square that goes in and out like an Ouroboros, okay? Just to see if we can pull it off. And there cannot be one single player outside this circle, right? Or this square. Alright, ready? I'm gonna start over here by the lantern okay <laughs> mm, yeah this tidal wave okay he, again it's like a square around here okay okay we're, 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 we're figuring this out we're figuring this out it's like a flock of ants following their queen. Okay, you keep that, guys. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep, yeah. You keep it going. Keep it going. Okay, everybody, join in. Everybody, just, Sil, Zik, Mac, I. Come on, guys, just get in. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, somebody's too close, but uh, you know. Open this pit up. What was that old meme? Disrespect your surroundings. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna join in. <laughs> Mosh pit. Okay. Okay, we didn't quite get the, the, the effect I wanted. But I gotta say, it's a pretty neat effect anyhow. <laughs> You're causing ever. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that, you know, Joe Mac? This is so intense on their browsers, it's crashing. Oh, that's why they're stuck. I <laughs> go. I'd love to do this, and then. Okay, okay. More people have joined in, but. Okay, that's great. That's great. Not enough RAM. Okay. Well, that's great. That's great. Well, guys, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here for the night for you, me, Nikki. Uh, the online thing. I had a lot of fun with this one. In fact, I kind of I kind of preferred to flow. Honestly, uh, I, I I felt there was a more of a and, and I know flow is more for like horror, but I I I kind of like this one more for just the bizarre exploration that wasn't necessarily like. Um, I, I mean, I like Flow too, but it had more like a malicious, evil spirit in it. And this one was more like, guess what? You're underwater now. Which, there was an underwater thing in Flow too, but th I think in a way, this grasped my attention a little bit more. Because it is so big and it's so community driven that you'd never know what you're going to get. Just like the other one too, but here it's like one decision leads to a different place, to a different place, different place which is the case for other ones, 
but here it feels more like it. You're lost. You're going to be incredibly lost this time just because it's so big. So, uh... Now, let's see if you guys can fill the screen completely. Let's see. Um, most people have probably crashed, but... Ooh! Command received. Okay, okay. I, I, I think... I think we're, we're, we're getting there. Okay, okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. I see a couple of pixels left. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You, you stay in place, stay in place. Stay in place. Okay, oh, okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we're, we're lacking a little bit. But it's almost full. Okay, holy shit, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. We have some shit on top, we gotta fix it. Ooh, it's like Bender. Ooh. What I don't understand is if you it, stand still, you have filled your place, stand still. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go offline and online again and see what happens, okay? One, two, shoe nice. It's filled. I think that's filled. If I go up here, oh, it's it. Oh yeah, kind of, kind of. Who, who's who's shitting in the trumpet? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Almost, almost, almost. A okay. little bit more, a little bit more to the top here. A little bit more to the top. A little bit more to the top. Okay. Okay. Sex. There's a, there's a guy hopping in and out out of sex. Get on top of sex, please. Okay, that that's it. That's it. We need like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need like nine more people in here. You know what? I think this is as good as we'll get. I think this is an incredible thing anyway. I'm being a perfectionist and I, I apologize. So, no, that, that's it. That's it. That, that is what I'm talking about. It's so fucking perfect anyhow. Because we have rat over here coming up and down, you know. But, uh, wow, look at this, guys. This is, this is pretty goddamn amazing. But, uh, you know, hey, you know what? Shoutouts to the Yumaniki online community. Um, you know, obviously I streamed this last year, uh, but this is a fan game I played for the first time, and uh, I don't, uh, I don't say that I think it was detrimental the fact that I played it online for the first time. I think it enhanced it in a way, just to like you know, like oh, people are here now, people are there, uh, and if it was like too busy, then uh, you know you can go offline. But yeah, I, I don't know how many people are online online right now, but apparently there's almost 500 people right now in this server. So, uh, that's pretty damn cool. But, uh, yeah, everybody, I want to say thank you for hopping in, and I, I apologize to the Yumaniki Online thing, because I know you guys were waiting for to play this. And, you know, it's been like other games, and do 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 But, uh, yeah, I want to say thank you guys for being patient, and, uh, you know, I'll definitely stream more of this very soon, in fact. I might stream more of this in the morning. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Guys, holy shit. I think that's actually the, the... There's only one left. Right here. One, one, two. One, two. Right here. Okay, I'm gonna do something fucked up. Well, gee. Jubiniki sure is scary. Isolating experience. I wonder if I... Selling girlfriend, selling girlfriend, selling boobs. Come to Warok. Free rune sword, free rune sword. Buying girlfriend, selling. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, 
that's gonna be it for me tonight i will be back in the morning uh oh fuck i i didn't save let's do it again in the morning okay guys um thank you so much for watching uh, i'm sorry the stream was kind of short only four hours but uh to in the morning in about seven to eight ish hours uh, uh we're gonna do a voice of the void halloween special uh we're gonna do uh a bonus seven is spooky games and alone in the dark yeah and if i have more time over which i probably will because it's in the morning it's better for me uh it's just kind of late at night now so yeah i'll see you then but i'm gonna make sure that this this we um this we version of the game runs well before i stream it because i didn't do this with the pc port and it fucking sucked so uh you know hey thank you for watching hombres i hope that uh, you had a good time watching uh i will once again be back seven hours or so you know so uh yeah for now guys as i said i'll see you around uh you know you all take it easy take care and all that stuff i want to see us live right now so i'm gonna host them um Mike is live. Uh, Salty Bet is always live. Uh, Simple Flips, my main man, Eddie Spaghetti. Eddie Spaghetti, man. Uh, so your, your choice in the matter right now is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just a bit biased because, you know, these, these guys are my friends. But Jabroni Mike or Simple Flips, check out either guys. They're uh, pretty cool dudes. They... Uh, they do mean FNAF karaoke, man. You should have seen them in the movie theater when I saw the movie with them. They were singing to every single song. They knew the words, you know. They they knew this shit. They weren't fake fans. You know, when the song came out, Yo, my name is Eddie Spaghetti. Yo, my name is Freddy the Bear. Yo, you know. Skungabunga. Go to bed, Joel. All right. I'll see you soon, guys. Oh, simple flips. And uh, tip of the day is, hey, you know, it's post-Halloween now. Now is your opportunity to buy really cheap candy. I would say this. Don't even buy candy on Halloween if you live alone. You just wait until after for the like, clearance of the shit. So, uh, but I think that whatever, that's what everybody else does, too, because, you know, hey, uh my tip is not exclusive <laughs> you know all right guys um uh, i'll be back soon um give me a couple of hours to get some sleep and uh you'll have some more streaming done for now though as i said you all take it easy take care and you know happy late halloween peace